Okay, we now move on to another problem for uh, manometers. So, basahin ko lang problem. So, for uh, problem number 5, determine the elevation difference, which is delta H, between the water levels in the two open tanks shown. So, ang hinahanap natin dito is yung difference in elevation between the two uh, corresponding uh, water levels of the uh, two open tanks, no? So again, first thing that we have to do is to identify uh, two pressure regions at both ends. So, yun yung gagawin natin. So, this case, uh -huh. kung titinan natin, since both ends are open to the atmosphere, so again, since both ends are open to the atmosphere, they are exposed to what we call the presence of air. So, basta't meron tayong presence ng air, meron tayong tinatawag na atmospheric pressure. So, may atmospheric dito. Tapos, another P atmospheric dito. Atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure. So, lagay na lang natin dito, no? So, so, from the uh, configuration, so, sulat lang natin o ilagay lang natin dito yung uh, bubuo sa ating uh, manometer equation. So, left, uh, left side tapos right side. So, since both ends are open to the atmosphere, both ends are subjected to what we call atmospheric pressure. So, P atmospheric, P atmospheric. So, next step is maglilabel tayo ng mga corresponding uh, liquids, no? So, label tayo. So, start tayo ng labeling. So, Start tayo dito sa, sa ito, no? So, pag nag-label tayo, ang pinaka dito is meron tayong ma-obtain na corresponding uh, distance. So, from 1, so, asa yung pinaka-dulo niya? So, consider natin itong kabilang side. So, you have here 2. So, kung, uh, ito yung start point, ito yung end point. So, kung ano man yung end point itong uh, water natin, yun din naman yung magiging start point naman ng ating gauge liquid kung saan specific gravity niya is 0.9 so ito yung start point ng gauge liquid ito naman yung magiging end point ng ating gauge liquid so yung end point ng ating gauge liquid yun din yung mag magiging uh, start point naman ng ating uh, water as the other gauge liquid tapos yung pinaka surface nito yun naman yung magiging end point niya so ayan so yung mga uh, dividing lines ng mga liquids o yung mga start point at, as well as end points, kinakalama, label natin sila properly. So, next step is lagay na natin yung mga pressures na to. 1 and 2, 2 and 3, tapos 3 and 4 dito sa ating bubuoing manometer equation. So, pressure taken from 1 to 2. Pressure taken from 2 to 3. Then, last one is pressure taken from 3 to 4. So, from 1 to 2, tumaas. So, negative siya. So, from 2 to 3, bumaba siya. So, positive. So, from 3 to 4, bumaba siya. So, positive. So, again, both ends are subjected. Since both ends are open to the atmosphere, both ends are subjected to the same intensity of what we call atmospheric pressure. So, pwede nating i-cancel out. Ayan. So, matitira sa atin is actually ganito. Negative P1 and 2 plus P2 and 3 plus P3 and 4 is equivalent to 0. So, equate na natin yung dalawang sides na to, no? Or, mamaya na natin equate. So again, ang formula ang gagamitin natin is you have liquid pressure formula is you have gamma multiplied by the height or in this case, 
Kung hindi man given directly yung gamma ng liquid o gauge liquid, pwede natin gamitin yung specific gravity ng gauge liquid multiplied by the gamma of water tapos height ng gauge liquid. So, ito yung breakdown ng tinutukoy nating liquid pressure formula. Okay. So, from 1 to 2, from 1 to 2, ang substance natin is water. So, negative pressure exerted by the water that is measured from 1 to 2 plus 2 to 3. So, gauge liquid, GL na lang, no? So, pressure given off by the gauge liquid measured from 2 to 3 plus 3 to 4 water ulit. So, pressure exerted or given off by the water measured from 3 to 4 is equivalent to 0. So, breakdown na natin siya according to this formula. So, gamma ng water, then height ng water measured from 1 to 2 plus uh, in this case, since hindi naman given directly yung gamma ng gauge liquid, rather given dito is specific gravity, gagamitin natin sa second formula. So, specific gravity ng gauge liquid, gamma ng water, tapos you have height ng gauge liquid measured from 2 to 3, plus last one is uh, you have gamma ng water, Kasi from 3 to 4 is water, di ba? So, multiply by the height of the uh, water measured from 3 to 4. Is equivalent to 0. Ayan. So, in this case, kung titignan natin, no? So, in this case, since meron tayong gamma ng water, so, yung gamma ng water natin dito, uh, huh? pwede natin factor out yung gamma ng water. So, in this case, no, gamma ng water multiply by negative height ng water measure from 1 to 2 plus specific gravity ng gauge liquid height ng gauge liquid measured from 2 to 3 plus height ng water measured from 3 to 4 is equivalent to 0. So, check natin, no? So, ganito ang mangyayari. So, you have here what? Gamma ng water or in this case, no? Uh, actually, sa tingin ko, mas better kung ang gagawin natin is wag na natin factor out yung gamma ng water. So, ang goal kasi is masimplify natin. So, ang ultimate goal ko dito is mawala si gamma ng water. So, gamitan man natin ng uh, correction tape ng ating uh, solution yan so equate ko na lang yung sides natin so itong side na to which is negative gawin natin positive so transpose natin sa blank side so may iwan mali left out si specific gravity ng gauge liquid gamay ng water height ng gauge liquid measured from 2 to 3 plus gamma ng water height ng H2O measured from 3 to 4 is equivalent to itong side na to from being negative gagawin natin siyang positive gamma ng water height ng water measured from 1 to 2 so again ang ultimate objective natin dito is to simplify so, 
pwede na natin i-cancel out yung gamma ng water. Ayan. So, in this case, matitira dito is ga specific gravity ng gauge liquid. So, you have 0.9. Tapos, ang height ng gauge liquid natin, measure from 2 to 3. So, from 2 to 3, ang distance niya is you have what? Yeah, 0.4 meters. Ayan. Plus, height ng water measured from 3 to 4. So, height ng water measured from 3 to 4. So, from 3 to 4. So, titignan natin so far dito, no? Uh, you have delta H. Tapos, kailangan natin ng distance dito. From this point up to this particular point. So, in this case, mag a ako ng letter. So, at, at napili kong letter is, let's say, example, ito is X. Yan. So, lumalabas, para makuha natin distance between 3 to 4, you have x plus delta h. So, you have x plus delta h is equivalent to height ng water measure from 1 to 2. So, height ng water, magmala sa 1, papunta dito sa 2. So, kung titignan natin, Ang distance is you have x once again plus 0.4 meters. So you have uh, x plus 0.4 meters. Ayan. So ang gawin natin dito is, ang hinahanap natin dito is, Determine the elevation difference delta H. So, delta H, kung titignan natin, no? Ito yung delta H natin. So, delta H natin is actually positive. So, retain natin siya as is. Then, yung mga katabi niyang values dito, transpose na lang natin doon sa may kabilang side. So, lamalabas dito, you have what? X plus delta H is equivalent to, yun A1 sa kabilang side, you have X plus 0.4 meters. So, transpose na natin si point, uh, positive 0.9 multiply by uh, 0.4 meters. So, from being positive, magiging negative. Negative 0.9 multiply by 0.4 meters. So, ayan. So, since ang ultimate objective natin dito is yung value ng Delta H. Tapos post natin si uh, positive, H, uh, positive X doon sa kabilang side. So, from being positive, magiging negative. So, Delta H therefore is equivalent to uh, X plus 0.4 meters minus uh, 0.9 multiplied by uh, 0.4 meter. So, from being positive, tapos post natin sa kabilang side, magiging negative. Negative X. So, simplify natin. So, positive x minus x. So, eventually, uh, ininegate nila yung mga corresponding values nila. So, you have what? 0.4 meters minus, uh, you have 0.9 times 0 0.4. 0 0.9 times 0 0.4. So, you have 0.36. So, 0.36 meters. So, yung elevation difference, eventually, so, you have 0.4 minus 0.36, so, you have 0.04 meters. So, lagay na lang natin dito, no? Elevation difference so you have delta H is you have 0 0.04 meters 0 0.04 meters or so kung multiply natin sa 1000 you have 40 millimeters so 40 millimeters and Okay. 
So eventually, this concludes our discussion for uh, manometer problem number 5. So inanap is elevation difference between delta, uh, elevation difference delta H. So elevation difference delta H is equivalent to 0.04 meter which is also equivalent to 40 millimeters. So ayan.